Why did Tesla create the supercharger network in 2012? Why have they invested so much money in this network? And how much has it grown since then? In this video, I want to discuss not only the quantity of superchargers and how they've grown, but also the technology and speed improvements over the years. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. In November of 2012, at the Hawthorne Design Center, Elon Musk took the stage and unveiled the supercharger network to the world. Of course, this network at this point was only six charging stations located in California only. Before we talk about the impressive growth of the Tesla supercharging network, both in charging speed and in quantity, I want to talk about the reason for the Tesla supercharging network. So one of the things that's been holding back electric vehicle adoption for a lot of people is the lack of charging infrastructure. Not being able to drive an electric vehicle across the country, long distances, has definitely been a problem. The supercharging network is Tesla's answer to solve this problem. It allows for convenience and mobility and allows electric vehicles to travel long distance, and this is key for electric car adoption. In 2012, when Elon talked about the supercharging network, he unveiled his plan for the growth of the network. Here's a clip of Elon talking about that. So um, by the end of this year, in a, in, a, in a few months, we'll actually have a bunch more installed in California and extending to uh, uh, Nevada and Oregon. And going beyond that, within two years, this is not an exaggeration, within two years, we will cover almost the entire United States uh, with, with superchargers. You'll be able to travel practically anywhere. And then our long-term goal, uh, which is perhaps in the sort of four or five year time frame, so not t t Tesla long-term, <laughs> um, four or five year time frame, we expect to cover the entire United States without exception and uh, the lower part of Canada. So, yeah. <laughs> And then, in addition, beyond this, we'll obviously have superchargers in Europe and Asia, so you'll be able to travel almost anywhere in the world um, on, on, with an electric car, with, it, with, with, with your Model S, um, with the le same level of convenience as a gasoline car. Now I'd like to talk about the impressive growth of the supercharger network, both in technology and in number of Tesla supercharger stations. When the Tesla supercharger network was first unveiled, there were only six locations open at that date. That was November of 2012. Barstow, California, Folsom, California, Tejon Ranch, California, Harris Ranch, California, Los Angeles, California, and Gilroy, California. Just a few months later, by January of 2013, they added two more locations in the East Coast, Milford, Connecticut, and Newark, Delaware. Here's a year-by-year -year timeline of the growth of Tesla's supercharger network. In January 2013, as mentioned before, there were 8 locations. By January of 2014, there were 72 locations. By January of 2015, there were 332 locations. By January of 2016, there were 585 locations. By January of 2017, there were 769 locations. By January of 2018, there were 1,130 locations. And by January of 2019, there were 1,386 locations. This video is currently being recorded here at the end of December 2019, and since more supercharger networks are not historically opened in the last few days of the year because of the holidays, the current number of superchargers in existence as of today is 1,636 locations. So I'm assuming between the very end of December and the first couple days of January, there will not be any more opened. So I'm assuming here that by January 1st, 2020, the same number of supercharger locations as now, 1,636, will be open. So as we mentioned, January 2013, eight supercharger locations. Six on the West Coast, two on the East Coast. As we move into January of 2020, there are currently 1,636 supercharging locations or 14,497 individual chargers at those locations. And this is an average of 233 superchargers added each year since 2012, 19 per month, or almost four and a half 
per week. Tesla superchargers are now in 37 countries and on five continents. In November of 2012, when the supercharger network was first released, it had a charge speed of 90 kilowatts. Shortly after when version 2 supercharging stations were released, they had a charging rate of 120 kilowatts, and many of them have recently been updated to 150 kilowatt chargers. Tesla also has a number of urban superchargers in parking garages and similar areas with a 72 kilowatt charging speed. Tesla recently released and has been rolling out their latest generation of V3 superchargers, which are up to 250 kilowatt charging. There are currently 44 V3 superchargers throughout the world, 15 of these in the United States, 28 of these in Canada, with a bunch of these just recently being unveiled across the Trans-Canadian Highway, and there's one in Europe. There are 22 more coming soon in the United States, four more in Canada, and also one soon in China. The big key for the supercharging V3 stations is that it allows more cars to move through at a quicker rate, allowing Tesla to not have to build more stations, but just upgrade existing stations to the 250 kilowatt charging rate. This is what Tesla has to say about the V3 superchargers. V3 is a completely new architecture for supercharging. A new one megawatt power cabinet with a similar design to our utility scale products supports peak rates of up to 250 kilowatts per car. At this rate, a Model 3 long range operating at peak efficiency can recover up to 75 miles of charge in five minutes and charge at rates of up to 1,000 miles per hour. V3 supercharging will ultimately cut the amount of time customers spend charging by an average of 50% as modeled on our fleet data. So when V3 supercharging is combined with a new on-route battery warm-up, you can see up to a 50% decrease in charging time from the previous 120 kilowatt charging speeds without battery warm-up. Now what about the cost for Tesla users in the supercharging network? Tesla has a calculator on their website that allows you to see how much you could potentially save, and this is using strictly the supercharging network on a trip. So in this example they give, it would cost $100 in electricity via the superchargers to go 1,500 miles, and that same cost with a similar gasoline car would cost $153. So clearly it's cheaper to use a supercharging network than it would be to use a gas station. What about the competition? There have recently been several networks that have grown substantially over the last couple of years, and we're definitely glad to see more charging infrastructure being added to the nation and to the world. But how do they compare to Tesla? So two well-known charging networks here in the United States, one of them is EVgo, and the second is Electrify America. According to EVgo's website, they currently have 750 fast charging locations in 34 states. They currently use a per minute charging infrastructure, which can get very expensive very quickly. Electrify America shows that they have 372 live stations available with 91 more coming soon. But keep in mind that at these stations, they have 75 chargers that are level 2, meaning only 3.3 to 7.2 kilowatts. They also have 372 Chatamo chargers, which can only charge up to 50 kilowatts. And the rest of these, 1,278 of these chargers, can charge up to 350 kilowatts. Electrify America also has a per minute fee for charging. And one example that I pulled up in California could cost you uh, around 99 cents per minute for charging. So when you compare these networks with Tesla's 1,636 supercharger locations with 14,497 superchargers, it becomes very clearly that Tesla wins on their convenience. They have the most locations. Tesla also wins on costs because they're not trying to make a profit on their supercharging network, but is there for the convenience of their owners. And also add the convenience, as a Tesla owner, there's no need for a membership to use a credit card or anything like that. It automatically bills you through your Tesla account. So as mentioned at the beginning of the video, 
This supercharging network is key to the adoption of electric vehicles, and Tesla thought this through years before we got to the point where we are today, where there are hundreds of thousands of Teslas on the road. Tesla has a very impressive number of superchargers available, not only in the United States, but in Europe and in Canada and other parts of the world, and it is growing every day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you watching through to the end. If you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel so you'll know when future content comes out as well. Thank you so much.